Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today you'll be making this egg. Isn't it beautiful? Yep, it really is. I just love it. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with an egg. That's right. Uh, we made one egg before <clears throat> and we did not start with the egg. We started actually with some cylinder. We're going to work backwards today. I'm showing you a second way to make an egg. So there you go. We made an egg. Thank you for visiting. Don't forget to subscribe. Great. All that stuff. Anyways, we're actually going to, you know, we have the egg, but the next part is the heart. So the heart, we're just going to drag it here. I'm going to change it to red because every heart should be red unless it's mine. In that case, it's black, obviously. I'm going to duplicate this. Control D. Of course, you can click up here and then I'm going to hit the shift button. I'm going to hold it down while I move it one, two. So that's eight. And then I'm going to make it a hole and move it up. All right. So there you go. This is what it should look like before you group it. Now I'm going to select both of them and group. The shortcut is control G. And now I'm going to make this 25. And there you go. Now I'm going to rotate this to 90 first because I know how complicated it can be for some of you. So this is the way it should look. We, uh, we're, you know, a, it's a heart standing up essentially. So now actually I'm going to click the letter D so because I see a little bit of this is under, where it's under, under there. So I'm going to click the letter D and now it is above the work plane. It's actually touching it. Now I'm going to change the degree to 15 over here. So 15 back, so it'll be negative 15. All right, so now this is gonna be the beginning of where we actually start decorating the egg. Now, in this case, what, we're, what we wanna do is just have the heart be outside of the shell, but I also want it to be centered. So I'm gonna group both of them. I'm gonna click the letter L. You can click a line right there. I'm gonna click just this one just that one if i click this one this heart's going to go inside i don't want to see that okay so i'm going to make this transparent just because it makes it a little easier for me but what i want to see is just a little bit of this heart sticking out now i'm going to duplicate this Control d in your case you could also just click duplicate right there and then i'm going to rotate it or i'm going to use the mirror tool because i want it to go that way now i'm going to hit shift i'm going to hold the shift button and then move it to the right I think that might be too much. Let me drag this over here. Yeah, that was way too much. I'm gonna hit shift and let me see what it what we have. Oh, that looks about right. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna select this one as well, right there. Now I'm going to duplicate and rotate. Should be 90 degrees. And I'm just looking to see the separation between the outside of the egg and the edge of the heart is there. Good, it's exactly what we want. All right, so now I'm gonna select all the hearts. I'm, hit, I'm holding the shift button and let me rotate around here, there you go. Now I'm gonna duplicate Control D or that button right there. I'm gonna move this up and then I'm gonna rotate this. Honestly, I don't know the degrees because all I want is the heart to be right there. Let's see what it ends up being. 45? No. Is it 90? No. I'm not sure if you noticed this, but I'm noticing it right now. This is not centered. So let me see why is it not centered? I don't know. So I'm going to check this. I'm going to make sure all these are centered. So I'm going to group all the hearts. One, two, three. While I'm doing this, a student asked me how long it took me to make the previous heart. And my answer was about three or four hours. He's like, what? I have to make a tutorial or I have to follow a tutorial for two to three hours? I said, no, I figured it out in that long. I'm going to group this. And I shortened it to 12 minutes just for you. So that's what I did here too, by the way. I shortened it because this took me a while before I figured it out. All right, so the hearts are now grouped. I'm going to duplicate them before I do. My bad, I should just focus on not telling stories here. I'm gonna make sure all this is aligned. Okay, so I'm gonna click the letter L. 
And I can tell already it is not aligned. Now it is. Now I should not. Whoa. What's this in the center? Let me move this out of the way. Oh, I got the extra hearts in there. I'm going to click Shift and Delete. And of course, now I'm going to click L, Center, and Center. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Let me click over here. Con uh, Control D. I'm going to move this up. And I may have to move it up a little bit more, but I'm going to just move it up for right now just a little bit because I just want to get the heart in between these two. Okay, that's not enough. See how there's more of this heart inside of that one? So I'm going to rotate some more so that it's a little bit more even. Yeah, that looks about right. So I'm going to move this up because I want, I want the hearts to be the shape of it to be, you know, right on the edge. And I think what I'm going to do, yeah. So let's select the top layer. I'm going to hit shift because I want to shrink it a little bit and then raise it. That's what I want. All right. That's pretty good. And let's see, do I have the edge sticking out a little bit? Yeah, it's not bad. Let me move it around. Okay, so again, this is the goal right here. The heart sticking out just a little bit. In fact, I'm going to do it just a little bit more. I'm going to hit shift and then move it down. Let's see. Did I move it down? I, I did because now there's a smaller edge. And that's what I want. I want it to be as small edge as, smallest edge as possible. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Again, control D. Move it up. And then rotate it. I want to go over here because this is what I want to see. This is where I want the heart to be. So I'm going to rotate this and there's the heart. These other hearts in the, on the bottom are, you know, pretty close inside. So I'm going to hit shift and then hold this down. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And remember my goal, I want this to be smaller. So I'm going to hit shift and move that down. Now move it back up here. All right, okay, there's some edge there, edge there. All right, I'm gonna do this one more time because I think I have enough space here. So I'm gonna duplicate it. Oh, look, it anticipated where I wanted it. And you know what? That's pretty accurate. Although I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And then, really, is it like that everywhere? I don't like that it, it hid this part, see? If this were to stay be behind the eggshell, when I uh, do the next step, you're not going to be able to see the heart. All you're going to see is this top part. So let's make this a little bit bigger so that the bottom part is sticking out. All right. Now, the very top, I'm going to give you a choice. Okay, so here's my, my suggestion to you. If you're making this for someone, put their initial here. Or you can put a heart. I'm going to put an uh, initial first. So let's put a text, right? That should show up. There you go. Come on. There it is. And I only want the letter A because A is awesome if you didn't know that already. And then I'm going to pick this up right there. And I'm going to make it the, the correct size, of course. And I'm shrinking it. It should go down right there. Is it going to fit? Now I want this also to be part of the edge and just a little bit sticking up. All right, so that's one thing you can do. And, well, I don't think it's centered. That's That looks better right there. Or you could make another heart. So another heart coming up. Rotate this there. I'm gonna duplicate, control D, make it a hole. Let's move it down to, I believe it was eight. And then I'm going to increase it, group. Yeah, you already know how to make a heart, so I didn't take time to show you that step. You should know if you were paying attention earlier. So I'm just gonna move this up with a black arrow. Over here, black arrow again. And then, oops, clicked on the wrong thing. Here it is. I'm gonna shrink this by hitting shift and the center down. And again, I just wanted to stick out a little bit. That's good enough. So you could do that too. That one's not centered. 
All right, so now the next step. Okay, here's the next step. You're gonna ungroup and ungroup. Ungroup all the hearts. It's, you're gonna have to trust me on this one. You're just gonna have to trust me because when I did this without ungrouping all the hearts, it didn't really look like hearts. And I'll, I'll explain why later. Ungroup and then ungroup again. <clears throat> I know, I had to do this several times before I figured out how to make it look cool. And you're welcome. You know, just one way you can thank me is by hitting the subscribe button, clicking like, leaving a comment about how cool this is and how much you appreciate all the work I put into this. Of course not. But, you know, in an ideal world, that would be cool. It would make my heart happy. Uh, see what I did there with the heart and everything? All right, so we're done with this part. Oh, there's another heart. Whoa, too far. Whoa, well, it's like another dimension. All right, so ungroup. I think all the hearts are done. Let me just take a quick look. Let me center this. Oh, and this one up here. It's going to look a little weird. I can tell you right now. Okay. Now we're going to group all these. Let me move my A out of there. I'm going to group all of this. Control G. <clears throat> and this is not going to take as long as the other ones. All right. It's on transparent right now. So I'm going to click on the letter T so you can see it. All right. Now, if you try to print this, obviously it's going to fall apart if you can look on the inside. So now we do what we did last time. Let's bring back our egg. In fact, I know we're going to need two more eggs. So let me just go egg and uh, we're going to need one to be transparent or a hole. And the second one is going to be solid. So let's just leave that one over there. We need this one here and we need, come on, you can do it. There it is. A giant block. That might be too giant, but that's okay. Uh, we're just going to center these two. I'm going to click and drag what's on the inside. And then I'm going to align here and here, only at the bottom, only at the bottom. And then I'm going to group them, control G, or you can click that button. Now I want to see what's inside. There it is, the egg. Now I want to make this into a hole. And so now let's do the same thing. Let me get rid of this A. I'm going to align these two. I'm going to click the letter L, click here and there. Now it is aligned. Yay, the bottom sticking out, it always sticks out. So I'm just gonna grab one of these over here, make it negative 20 in the center, and then just drag it over here so that it's covering the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna group those two right there. It'd be control G. And we're gonna have a weird looking thing right now. And that is okay. All right, so it's looking a little bit better on the outside, right? Oh, I, for, I missed a step. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the white and the red are touching each other. So you're not going to be able to see the hard outlines. So let me think, let me think, let me think. You know what? I actually like it like this. And you'll see why in a little bit. See here, <clears throat> you see a little bit of an outline. You're just going to see the hearts. Now, if you wanted to, should I do it? Should I not? So you can leave it like this. In fact, Let's just give you some options. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'll show you what the other one is gonna be. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna sh hit shift and shrink this to 58. Now, let me just make this red because this non heart stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna group these two. I'm gonna align them now. Pay attention because I'm gonna align them in three areas. One, two, three. If I didn't do that, then it wouldn't reach the top. Okay, so we're good with this one right here, right? I'm gonna group it and we're gonna move on with our lives. And of course, I wanna make this red. Oh, it's still, okay. There you go, that is one way. Now these things, you're not gonna be able to see them and that is okay. That is perfectly fine. Now this one, I'm gonna show you the other option if you want, and I'll let you choose whichever one you want. Here's the other option. I'm gonna undo this, I'm gonna, Oh, okay. And this one I'm going to ungroup again. I'm going to get rid of the egg. Is it there? Okay. 
there. Now I'm going to, let me put that right there. I'm going to group these right here. Control G. It's going to look weird. Trust me. I know it'll look better afterwards. Okay. Now this and this will be aligned. Control on um, just the letter L align and align there and then group. And while that's processing, let's look for another egg. E G G. And I'm going to want a solid and we're going to, what is that down there? That's weird. I'll get rid of it later. We're going to make this 58. I'm going to hit shift and hold that down to 58. I'm going to align this L. All right. So now, oh, that little thing is still down there. But I, what I want you to see is that you have the hard outlines, but you also, I'm going to put negative 20 here. You also have the outlines that are, oh, I see. That's why I didn't go. So let me group this. group. Now you have also these outlines, which some people really like. So I'm going to, I'm going to click the group control G and then I'm going to change it to, did it work? Control G and then change it to red. Okay, good. So look side by side, let's move them up. The difference is you're going to be able to see these little empty spaces in between the hearts in this one. And in this one, all you're going to see is the hearts. That's it. So it's up to you. However, if you want these eggs to print, you're going to want to put, to make a two millimeter stand in the bottom. Oh, uh, let me duplicate this because if you don't make this, the eggs just going to fall over. And if that's okay with you, then great. I'm going to align this there and there and align this one there and there. And of course I'm going to group Control G, I'm going to group this, Control G. And those are your options for the heart egg. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope that no one plays with your heart. Have a great day.